Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting Grumman Pilots Association. And here we are getting ready to mix up some fuel tank sealant. Now, this is going to be the high adhesion part A. It's a paintable uh, sealant. We'll be putting the first layer on with this. This is a lot thinner than the uh, compound B, which will be a little thicker, which will come and seal over the top of it. But we want the, the thinner, you can call it runnier, even though, as you can see in the can, it doesn't run very much. We're going to be using it to fill all the small small cracks where the fuel tank leak might be and then we'll come back over and put the big sealant over the top of it but it's very important when you're doing fuel tank sealant that you use a scale and it's a 10 to 1 mix so it's 10 parts of this part which is part a and then one part of this and you have to do it all by weight then it must be thoroughly mixed or mixing instructions like it must be folded 70 times and because this part is called a2 it means it has a two hour working life so from the time i begin mixing to the time that i can't paint it on anymore is two hours and then after that we let it cure for a day tomorrow we'll be putting the b2 in so most most owners never attack their own fuel tank sealant but for those of you who uh, are not owners or mechanics well we use the flame master stuff here uh, this particular one is the um, cs3204 we'll be using the um, low adhesion to seal the covers which is the 3330 so we hope you find all of this useful and informative I'd like to thank you for watching and uh, you know take an acid paintbrush for the a2 cut it down so it's got a little bit stiffer bristles because again this is very thick stuff we're going to be trying to paint it into very tight crevices up in the corner of the fuel tank so um, that's the last little tip again thanks for watching and have a good day flying your grumman